All right, guys. Whoo we got it done. Now we are going to add topsoil. This took us a couple days to do because that that dirt is just wet, heavy dirt. Even when we let it dry out, the top layer dry out, when you got underneath the first scoop, it's all still wet and heavy. So we're now going to go ahead and put topsoil on. Here he comes. Gotta keep the dogs in. Haluna. Yeah. Time for the topsoil. All right, guys. Six bags in. <laughs> it's finally done. Yeah, it's done, Grandpa. Are you happy it's done? Now we get to plant our tomatoes. I'm so happy. Yay. Are you happy, Cooper? All right, guys. So here is our raised bed. Uh, this year, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do peanuts. And lo and behold, we had one pop up here. And then down here, This is another one and it came right out of the shell. We get, I guess we missed a shell and it's grown right out of the shell there. Um, and then this is a Mexican sunflower. So I'm going to let that grow just a little bit taller so I could transplant it. I also got another one over there. Um, I did have a Mexican sunflower in here at one time. And I guess those are the seeds that popped off. And then we also have in the corner a uh, thornless blackberry bush that came up so <laughs> we're that guy out. I, I well it's blooming it has blooms on it honey all right so we, we, won't dig we gotta wait till after it's done blooming all right. but i've already planted the jumbo peanuts in here donald is prepping these beds uh we're gonna plant um some oh uh, what is it called eggplant yeah and then that one over there is also going to be eggplant where Donald's digging up. We love eggplant. We, yeah, we really do enjoy eggplant. We really do. Um, Donald went ahead and we planted the cranberry hibiscus along the fence line here so we can get them. They've gone leggy uh, because they've been in pots all sea or pretty much all winter. So we got that. And let's see. Donald is, um, he was tearing up the banana trees because we're putting the taller ones where the sun is during the summer. Um, but our shovel broke. <laughs> so we only have one shovel left and it's a wooden handle one and that's really bad too. Separating banana trees. Separating banana trees. Uh, kind of rough on shovels. Yeah. Here's the other, the wooden one over there. Um, we went ahead and right now for the things that are still in pots that we won't be able to get to today um, Because we do have rain in the forecast later on this week We have it to where when the rain comes off of the greenhouse like a gutter system It's going to go ahead and self water those plants for us um, And then we went ahead and we mowed Everywhere we could and we're going to start planting our bananas in here. More bananas. We're going to make rows of them. Um, sometime this summer or spring, summer. Yeah, it's spring, I think. Yeah, it's still spring here. Uh, we're going to be tearing these guys out and relocating the uh, quail house. We might convert it to something else. That was our old compost area. Um, so we're going to tear that out and probably put it somewhere else. And pretty much everything else is just waiting for us to uh plant so we're trucking along huh honey yeah all right so here's our first bet first row and we are oops sorry guys uh we're gonna plant the uh florida high bush eggplant on this one then over here that's my little seed bucket until I'm ready to put peppers in there. Um, 
we're going to do the Florida High Market eggplant on this row, which is row number three. And in the last row, we did this last year, and I found some leftover seed. Number four, we're going to go ahead and plant the, uh, the dinosaur kale in this one. Okay, so got it. I'm running out of daylight, so I'm going to try and do this real quick. I am going to put the uh, Martino's Roma tomato in the first one here. The Japanese truffle black tomato. A tomato spear one. Um, these were sent to me. Um, I actually got extras. So I'm going to plant them anyways. This is going to be the Amish paste. Um, regular Roma. Another tom uh, tomato sphere one. Then on the back side, I'm going to do the other one because I got four of them. Um, the Hungarian heart tomato. The Florida tomato. Another tomato sphere. And then it's going to leave me with these three empty. So I am going to go ahead and do the save the bees flower and the free bee seed borage. Um, just back here. I'm probably going to do two seeds in each. I'm going to do two holes closest to the um, the fencing here so that way I have support. But I'm going to do two seeds in each hole. The flower ones, I'm just going to take half of them and just mix them in these first two. This one I'm going to save um, just in case I want to make some extras. But pretty much that's what we got going on here and I'm going to go ahead and get these all let me walk around get these all planted and water them in and then I'm going to call it a night